Hey guys, what's up? It's Blake from Epicville United, and this is the start of PBR week, and this is the first battle featuring my new and improved Trick Room team, and by new and improved, I mean I've changed it up completely, and these are completely new Pokemon, so yeah. <laughs> and I'm fighting a guy who looked like he had a pretty decent team. I mean, nah, I'm not really going to say anything right now, but... I mean, Bubble X, he had a pretty decent team, and he was a pretty, you know, dangerous looking opponent. So, yeah. And they're all shinies, which, yeah, I mean, guys, it's all shinies. I don't really care about shinies. I mean, it's just a color. So, yeah. Now, I'm going into a range about shinies. Uh, so, I go with Slowking, Hypno, Dustmore, and Quagsire, and I have a Probo Pass on this team as well, and a Shedinger on this team. But, seeing as he had. A fire type. Um, I'm gonna take my chance with Shedinja, and he could have had anyone else in that team with something Shedinja was weak to, so I just figured I wouldn't waste my time with Shedinja. Sometimes I use him, sometimes I don't, but he's dangerous to use. And so he starts off with the Electrode and Flygon. I start out with, of course, Sloking and Hypno. And yeah, this is my Trick Room. I go here, uh, for Trick Room, and I was originally gonna go for Swagger on. Slow King, but I figured with that electrode out there, he would mind my chance, so I just nasty plot. Usually I swagger my Slow King, because it's a physical Slow King, so his own tempo would prevent confusion, but in this battle it proved more effective that I uh, nasty plot with Hypno. And, uh, yeah, I mean, he pretty much, I don't think anything they have would be super effective against him. So, Electro goes for Thunder, goes for Hypno. I was seriously scared that, that would destroy my Slowking and ruin my strategy, but no. Go for Hypno, I mean, whoa. Well, Flygon flies up high, Hypno sets up Master Plot. And he's, he's the fastest guy on my team, but yeah. Should have put it at that. Slowking Trick Rooms, and now I'm in business. Yeah, I mean, I raise these guys in like no speed at all, and his speed's like. 100 something. I mean, yeah, for a trip groomer, that's pretty low. I mean, most of my guys are below 90 in speed. Anyway, I go for Iron Tail and Electro just because I feel like I double team him and I know he, he's immune to Thunder Wave and Frustration won't do too much. Yeah, I figured I don't see many people use Frustration. I see everyone use Return, so I want to see someone use Frustration. That person I'm seeing is going to be me. So, of course, Iron Tail doesn't do really anything. Hit no psychics. And that does. Almost kills Electrode. And Flygon used Fly, and he hits Slowking for about a fifth of damage, I want to say. Electrode thunders again. This time he's smart and hits Slowking, but it doesn't knock him out. And Paralysis makes him faster in the Trick Room. I love about Paralysis in the Trick Room. It just makes him so much faster. And he moves like Hammer on pretty nice. And so I just go for another Iron Tail. I know I can finish off the Electrode with it. No need to waste it. No Psychic. Which I end up wasting on Flygon. <laughs> and so, yeah. I'm in pretty good shape right now. I mean, I got one guy almost full health and one guy almost dead. And he's got one guy almost dead and one guy at full health, so we're pretty even right now, but I figure I can turn the ties with Hypno's Psychic. Uh, Hero Hunter goes for Sucker Punch. Really wasn't seeing that coming. Goes for Hypno. Nice job going for the super effective man after your bad start. Uh, Hypno survives out with about half health, and Iron Tail knocks out the Electrode. Which is nice. And I love his fainting animation because it pones. And then Flygon, and uh, Hypno used Psychic, and they're just about uh, three fourths damage. Uh, Flygon goes for Thunder Punch. And that'll sadly take out my Slow King, but at that point I was like, come on, just kill Slow King, I don't need him anymore. So he goes down, and I go into, oh wait, no, Leftovers, I don't know how, I think I go in, oh yeah, I go into Quagsire. I wanted to go into Dust Noir, but I didn't feel like it, so I went into Quagsire. I could have gone into him first, because I was really scared about an explosion from that Electrode, but it, you know, that could have been a case of over-predicting, and I don't like over-predicting. 
So I go into Quagsire. He goes into a main deck trick. And I could have just earthquaked here, but I knew Flygon wouldn't be affected and Hypno would be seriously hurt. So I just I just uh, ice beam the Flygon, psychic the main deck trick. And I'll be in the good zone. Because that Flygon is definitely not going to take a uh, uh, ice beam from my Quagsire. I mean. Even if I even if my Quagsire had minimum attack, I mean special attack, like zero EVs, IVs, and a hindering nature, just due to the power and t of Ice Beam and the typing of Flygon, I don't think it would survive. So Ice Beam goes off, knocks out Flygon as everybody expected. I love how Flygon has like a mask on, like a pilot's mask over its eyes. It's like Ponage. Flygon's like one of my top ten favorite Pokemon. Hypno used Psychic, Psychic, um, I wanna say it did left a 16th of health, his main extra goes for Thunder, obviously this guy's a noob because he goes for Quagsire, and everybody knows Quagsire is famous for being the water type that can't be hurt by Thunder. Or, you know, that's how I know him. I don't care if you guys have different knowings of Pokemon, that's how I think of him. Ever since Stadium, when he was introduced, and I'm like, oh yeah, look, it's a... It's a water type that I can't hurt with Thunderbolt. Oops. And so Blaziken comes out. I figure I can seriously damage him with Muddy Water and knock out my neck trick. And at this point, it's just finishing up, because if he survives Muddy Water, Hitman's gonna come in with a, a Psychic. And I was seriously surprised. I thought for, um, thought for a second before his turn that Trick Room would wear out and I would be in a bad fix, because then those two would be, you know, pretty much screwed, but... No, Trick Room lasts just one turn enough for my boys to pound some face. So let's just wait for him to use moves that we don't even know he's going to use. Thought he was going to give in or disconnect here, but no. No. He's one of those guys who I like because they stay through to the freaking end of the battle. They don't just, oh, well, I can't win. I give up. So Quagsire, Muddy Water. And a little Muddy Water because it doesn't hurt your teammate. And it goes down, does about half the Blaziken, and yeah, the Nitrix down. I don't like the shiny. I don't know if his eyes were closed at that point, but he looked possessed because he had red eyes. And Blaziken goes down due to Psychic, and yeah, that's the battle. Great Monday, well, no Mondays are great, but great battle. Uh, sign up for my tournament, and I'll see you guys tomorrow for battle number two. And trust me, it's worth it.